Even if you're injured, you've got to stay in the fight to protect yourself. Hi everyone, it's John with today's active self-protection lesson from London. We're going to see here a random attack that's going to teach us some important lessons about awareness, about getting out of the danger zone, and about staying in the fight even if you're injured. I know it's London and people say that no one have firearms in the UK, but what we see here is these three guys are just looking for trouble and we're not sure why if you go read the news story. And the one guy hands the other guy a shotgun here and the guy in the white shirt tries to run off, but this guy's just going to pick him as a random target and shoot him. He was actually injured in the attack and he's going to go over and shoot at some other people and thankfully the guy in white is going to get out of the danger zone before they can shoot him again. Now these guys are still looking for victims here and what we're going to notice here is as they continue to run down and just look for random victims to target is this guy's going to come up here and grab this bicycle. I don't know if it was his or not, but whatever, he's going to get on that and his two partners in crime here are going to run off behind him as well. And we're going to see him run around a corner and try to pick on one more victim. And you can see the guy's got the shotgun in his hand there and he's going to pick it out and try to shoot at the guy, but I don't know if the gun jammed or what, but thankfully he was not able to. Let's go back and learn some lessons from this one. There is a new story in the description, eight more lessons there, but let's talk about some of the most important ones. First one's being aware of your surroundings. Just another day on the street here, and then this guy in white sees that this, this guy has pulled a shotgun and he acts. Do you notice he doesn't just stand there? This isn't normalcy bias, he actually gets moving, and I think that's incredibly important to take action to make yourself safer. Now, he decides to run parallel to them. I don't know that I would have re recommended that, but right there he was shot. He was hit with a couple of pellets there, but you notice he stays moving. He keeps making actions to protect himself and to get out of the danger zone. He uses those cars as cover, and that takes a lot of guts to stay in the fight and to run off. Now, I want to notice as well that this guy is going to run as, you know, as fast as he can, given the circumstances, and then make a right-hand turn as soon as he can. That gets him out of the danger zone. He gets away from them by getting out of what they can see. Running away from those bad guys is usually a good strategy, especially if they have pistols or if they have shotguns. Usually about 15 yards is as far as they can shoot them. Now, we're going to see a little bit about situational awareness as well. As this person's just walking down the street here, and if you pay attention right here, you can see that the guy has a shotgun, and if you're paying attention to your surroundings and just curious, you probably could have seen that in his hands and not put yourself in the danger zone. Thankfully, the gun didn't work in this instance. These are the kind of crazy, random violence that can happen in your world. you got to be aware of what's going on. you got to see things coming as far as you can so that you can take action to cover your ASP. 